welcome back to the channel Gadgets for Gentlemen. My name is Lawrence and in this video I will show you how you can use this Samsung portable SSD T5 uh, connected to the iMac late 2013 27 inch but this trick should also work with the uh, 21 and a half inch and how you can use this device to attach it to your iMac and use it uh, as a uh, bootable drive. So with the uh, iMac uh, 27 inch that I have right here, this one has the Fusion Drive. So this is partly uh, HDD and a SSD. Here on the left, I have another uh, 27 inch 2013 iMac. And um, this one has a regular HDD. And what I did with this device is I connected to this device. I connected the Samsung T5, which you can see here in the back. I applied it just with some tape to the to this frame of the iMac and I connected it with the USB cable USB 3.0 to one of the USB ports. And then I installed the um, Mac OS, the operating system, on the external drive. And this uh, makes the device so much faster. So basically, you have a SSD drive um, connected to your iMac without opening the device, which is like pretty difficult um, because the uh, screen is uh, attached and it's like pretty difficult to open it. Um, at least I thought it was uh, quite risky to, to open these screens and uh, toss in an SSD. So I went for this option with an external SSD. Now this is like a really uh, cool thing. Um, I'll leave a link to the item. But basically uh, this is just uh, like a very fast external SSD. It's lightweight. It's uh, aluminium um, uh, construction and uh, very lightweight, 51 grams, shock resistant. So definitely a very nice thing. Um, yeah, if you need some extra storage, but uh, definitely with um, three year warranty. But definitely if you have um, if you have an iMac late 2013 or later, I would say, just make sure you have USB 3.0 ports. You can uh, use this trick. So if you have a HDD in your iMac uh, 2013 or newer, you can um, use this trick of uh, using this drive as your main drive. So this is the drive I will install the operating system, uh, which is uh, currently Catalina. And I will also install the important programs such as uh, Office and iMovie. And, and most of the uh, important things I will put on this um, drive. And... Um, and all the other stuff I will put on the original HDD. So basically, when I connect this one to the iMac uh, 27 inch, uh, late uh, 2013, here on the right, then this is gonna be my main drive, which will be super, super fast. And uh, this one is uh, 500 uh, gigabytes. To sum it up, I'm going to use this external SSD, Samsung T5, as my main drive for my latest iMac 2013 27 inch. And I will use the internal Fusion drive, which is um, one terabyte and a little bit, I think one and a quarter terabyte, uh, a quarter SSD, one uh, terabyte HDD, just for storage for uh, movies and stuff. But uh, this one will be the one uh, using for my iMovie and uh, the Mac operating system. But also, yeah, uh, you could use this separate for uh, if you don't want to use it as your main drive, but just for 
external storage very very fast um, drive and as you can see it fits in the palm of your hand this is a uh, half a tera and uh, so 500 gigabytes but you can also buy it um, um, I think one terabyte which is the package right here uh, this is a, a black one this is a beautiful blue one I think there is also a red one absolutely fantastic and it weighs really nothing so let's open this package yeah so there we go let's open it up so this is just uh, a quick start so inside we have USB-C which uh, I currently don't use and here we have the uh, traditional normal uh, USB this is the 3.0 this one will be uh, connected to the drive so what I'm gonna do is connect uh, this to the drive like so and uh, put this in the back of the iMac mm. and uh, attach it to the uh, frame with some uh, tape so let's get back so I just did uh, the first step what I did is I um, put the drive all the way to the um, kind of like lowest position of this frame and I just applied some normal tape because it's only 50 grams it's very light uh, it will stay put and then you connect this cable to the drive and then the other side of the cable which is right here you can just um, insert in one of these USB ports so this is the setup so from the front you can't even see this uh, external SSD which is gonna function as the main drive because it's all like hidden behind this beautiful um, display so step two is I'm going to connect this uh, Catalina USB installer that I prepared and if you don't know how to do it then there's plenty of videos uh, explaining to you how you can uh, make a USB installer with the Catalina operating system and also of course you could use Hishera if that is uh, the one that you'd like to use so also this one I'm going to throw in the uh, back of the iMac so as you can see there's the Catalina USB installer and up next we're gonna power on the device and proceed with holding the option key so next step is we're gonna power on the device and hold the option key Now the system uh, should boot. Keep pressing this option key. Here we have the um, drives that should appear. Now let's proceed with the uh, with this symbol and uh, press it. So in this. Um, setup what I'm gonna do is a clean install of the Mac operating system I'm gonna erase the original internal HDD the hard drive I'm going to format the external Samsung drive to the um, format that is desired to install the uh, Mac OS Catalina and then uh, we proceed by installing the uh, Catalina operating system I will leave this tutorial in this uh, video from macworld.co.uk and in this um, article uh, they will uh, tell you step by step how you can make this um, uh, installable bootable USB drive which is now in the in the back of the iMac how you can um, make this file and then um, here they will tell you how to install uh, how to how to get this installer of Catalina which now is already on this USB yes 
and um, yeah, so I created the bootable USB drive. And what I wanted to show you is here, they will tell you how you can erase your internal HD. And also in this article from iMore, uh, they say that uh, you can format your drive as macOS extended journaled, or you can use the uh, APFS. So let's proceed. So what I did is um, boot, the, boot the device, uh, and then I'm going to disk utility. Here, what you can see is my, I wanna see all the devices, which is this button here. What you can see here is the uh, HDD. This is the uh, internal drive. Here we can see the Samsung uh, T5, which um, I like to uh, erase. And I want to, I want to call it uh, Samsung space T5. And I think Mac OS journaled will do. So let's just erase this drive. So this will be my main drive. The uh, Samsung T5, which I attached to the back of the device with some uh, tape. Now this right here, the SanDisk, is my USB drive with the Catalina. So I'm not going to touch this one. Now let's go to the internal drive, which is the Fusion drive. And um, what I like to do now is erase this one. And let's just call it... Um, HDD, that's how I like to name it, and press Erase. Okay, so let's um, let's give you some overview. So what do we have here? We have a internal hard drive, uh, which I just erased. So that's done. And here we have the Samsung, which is erased and formatted to uh, uh, Mac OS journal. And here we have the uh, USB drive with the software. So let's press uh, for um, install macOS and select proceed or continue. Installing Catalina, next. And, uh, accept, accept. And here, this is the most important step. Here we can see the internal HDD. And what I like to do is I want to install the Catalina on the external drive, which is uh, here, the T5. And then I'm gonna say install. So now it will install the operating system, the Catalina on the external hard drive. Well, not hard drive, SSD, external SSD. Mm -hmm. As you can see, the Samsung is like bloody fast. And uh, so far, it looks like it's only taking three minutes. So let's just uh, have a sip of this wine in the meantime. And of course, if, if your um, iMac already has a SSD configuration, then, you know, then you're solid. But if your iMac has a HDD or you can argue a fusion drive 
then I would say using this external SSD setup should get you better performance. So it seemed like this device was uh, rebooting and my iPhone has some trouble focusing, but uh, as you can see here in Dutch, it's reading about 11 minutes remaining to install the operating system. So now this uh, bar has, uh, yeah, has been full. And it seems like the iMac is rebooting again. We have the beautiful Apple logo. Let me focus. And again, as you can see, there is a bar loading. So now I think it's just like um, starting up again. And uh, prob probably we can now see the beginning of the uh, installment. So let's see what will happen. So yeah, I did. Uh, I've I've done this um, execution before with the uh, iMac here on my left. So basically, uh, yeah, in this setup, I'm gonna use two external Samsung T5 drives, and uh, that should uh, make these iMacs 2013 model still relevant today. And I think I'm gonna try to edit some 4K footage for uh, the Gadgets for Gentlemen channel here using this uh, 27 inch, two gigabyte of um, video graphics, graphics card, i7 processor. I think it's uh, a quad core 3.5 gigahertz. So for a um, late 2013 model that was purchased in 2014. I think those specifications are still like uh, pretty, pretty decent. So what we have here, uh, white screen, let me move back a little bit. Yeah, there we have it. So that's the beginning of the installment. So here basically um, you can do whatever you want. And uh, yeah, customize your settings. I think that's it. So this was a video. Um, yeah, so here I'm just going through the uh, installment so here as you can see i'm just wrapping up the installment it was quite easy if you have any questions then hit me up either on my instagram page at gadgets for gentlemen or leave a comment down below uh, likes and comments are much appreciated now the installment is about to terminate and it should be bloody fast So I think this is about the uh, the end of the installment. So I like this uh, dark theme. I think it just looks amazing. And installment was really uh, easy, I think. Here it's like um, final step, configuring the uh, settings. And that's it. So. <laughs> I think that's really, really, really cool. So we have um, Catalina installed here on the uh, external drive. As you can see, there is the uh, HDD, which is the orig original drive. And as you can see here on the right, we can see the external drive, which is now the main drive. So that's it, guys. Um, as you can see, well, let me demonstrate. This thing is like super, super fast. Let me just give you one example. Yeah, so as you can see, the thing is like super fast. I need to make some uh, configurations here just to uh, change some of these settings. But as you can see, um, yeah, I'm super happy with this external SSD. If you have any questions again just uh, leave them down below and uh, thank you for watching have a beautiful day and see you soon